Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I am Ellie and I am so happy to have you here. If you hear any noises in the background, it's because Thomas is joining us here. Hopefully he lets mom film today. But today I'm actually bringing you guys a video that no plant mom is excited about. Unfortunately, my Monstera at Ensonia has been struggling. Honestly, she's been struggling since the day that I brought her home. I actually noticed pretty quickly that she was having a lot of browning on her leaves, as you can see in some of the ones in here. And not only that, but literally the second day that I brought her home, I thought she had spider mites. But I took a closer look and I realized it was not spider mites, it was just mold in the soil. So I figured, okay, let me do a little bit of research. I hadn't at that point encountered any issues with any of my plants because to be honest, that was like month one of me having any house plants. So I started looking into it and for the most part, every video and everything that I read into told me that the mold was pretty much harmless and I could treat the mold in the soil or I could just replace the soil and it should be fine. Come to find out, I go ahead and decide, okay, I'm just going to repot this plant and we'll be good to go. So when I took it out of the pot, I actually was kind of disappointed. I know that a lot of nurseries, of course, they do kind of do this, like, you know, you'll have a lot of rooted cuttings and they'll put it into a plant and that'll become a plant fine that's totally cool but when I took this plant out of the pot and I cleared out the soil I realized that there was some root rot <laughs> not the majority of the cuttings but quite a few of the cuttings didn't even have roots they were just kind of sitting in there and some of them were molding and I didn't really know how to go about it because I hadn't prepared myself for that. I hadn't looked too much or read too much about what to do when you have root rot. I had seen maybe a couple of videos just because I had stumbled upon them and I was curious that I watched. So from what I had gathered there, I took off most of the rot that I saw and I repotted my plant and I assumed, okay, hopefully that does the trick and my plant will be good to go. So since then, it has been a couple of weeks maybe three weeks or so i honestly don't quite remember but she just has been getting worse there's definitely been quite a few leaves that have just died on me and i have cut off and she just doesn't look well she doesn't look like she's thriving um i don't know if you guys if this is gonna focus on here but they just don't they're not doing great I mentioned to a planty friend on here, her name is Peanuts Plants. I love her content, so if you haven't checked her out, definitely do, I will link her down below. But I mentioned to her that my Anansonia I was not doing that great, and she told me that I should try just cutting it up and propagating, and then obviously once we get some roots, I will repot her. I guess that was a really long intro just to say that today we're gonna cut up my Anansonia and hopefully propagate her. <laughs> So if you want to see that and if you're interested in that kind of content then stick around let's get to it and while you're here don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like planty related content i know that i have been binge watching a bunch of youtubers on here then and they're so informative and so helpful to me i watched a lot of those videos in preparation for today so hopefully it all goes well Okay, so I actually took a little break. I don't know if this looks any different, but I put Thomas down for a nap. In the meantime, my camera battery was dying, so I had to charge my battery anyway. We were just about to kind of get into things. Before I really knew what I was doing, um, like I told you guys, when I changed out this plant, I had actually taken a cutting from it just because I had seen a couple of videos at the time and I wanted to try out propagating it. So I actually have one cutting in here I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this because this glass isn't like great. There's actually, this is, I'm reusing this glass so it's like sticky. I didn't take all the goo off of it. But I have two different cuttings in here. I have one from this Monstera at Ansonii and that one has one really large root, but to be honest, I don't think it's doing that well anyway. It looks kind of like that's rotting as well. And I also have a Cebu Blue cutting in here. I don't have a Cebu Blue plant, but I do have this cutting. And when I put this cutting in water, it actually had a little bit of an extra piece of the internode and that part rotted off. So I cut it and I'm hoping that now it will root for me. 
So, so far my very like subpar attempts at propagating haven't gone that great. I'm hoping that this whole project ends up going better for me. The method that I'm going to use obviously as you just saw here is going to be the water method so i'm going to be cutting this plant up and i'm just going to be putting it into this container or another container that i am reusing and i have some rainwater in here that i collected yesterday so with all of that being said i think we're just going to kind of dump this out see what we're working with and start cutting i'm honestly not really excited about this i i kind of i'm scared of ruining this plant but she's not doing well, so this is kind of a last ditch effort at hopefully giving her a chance to thrive. So I'm just gonna angle this down so that we can, um, so that you guys can kind of see what I'm working with here. I just laid out some paper to hopefully make the cleanup process a little bit easier for myself. I have these guys right here so that I can cut my plant Let's get to it. I did let this soil dry out. Oh. Gosh, this looks really bad. <laughs> so, yeah, the roots are basically like kind of falling apart for the most part. Here it looks like put my hair up so that that's not in the way. Let me kind of give you guys a closer look. So let that focus and that's what we're working with. Like that piece right there doesn't even have a root. It's rotting. This is not rooted. It just, I'm sad. And there's like all these white roots in here, but they're not even really connected to anything, it seems. So those are probably going to rot soon. All right. Okay, guys. So let me kind of show you a piece and show you what I am going to be doing today. This is like really sad. But let me see. I'll grab this one right here because, well... So bad. Um, well, she's got one really long root there that I might be able to save, but this part's definitely rotting. So, what you are supposed to do is this right here is a node, and that's what the roots are going to be coming out of. This little middle section between that node and this node is called the internode, and it's kind of going to be a useless piece. So you wanna cut as close to that internode as possible from what I've seen. And I think I'm gonna leave this whole piece together right here so that we have a couple of leaves attached. And that'll hopefully help this. So I'm just going to do one clean cut right under, and here we have an aerial root too that'll hopefully help this baby grow. Okay. So there she is. I don't know if this is going to uh, focus on her, but that's what I'm going to pretty much do to all of these pieces. I don't know if this one's yeah, like this whole piece is rotting off, so. Oh, that doesn't even, eh, it's got one little, to be honest. I don't know, what would you guys do? Would you try it? I mean, I'm gonna try it, I guess, because it doesn't hurt to try, I guess. But that's one little cutting. This one I'm throwing out. This is rotting, as you can see. Yeah, they're not doing so great. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right under that node right there. And I'm just gonna separate the pieces that are going in the trash, I guess, and the pieces that I'm gonna try to salvage. 
This is really sad because I mean, it's, it's looking like all the bottom pieces are really just not doing well at all. And I bought this plant like this because like I told you guys, when I first took it out, it already had a lot of pieces that were struggling. And I just obviously didn't do a good enough job of trying to rescue it then. Oh, look at that pretty root. I don't know if this is really gonna do much for me because that part is rotting too. This is like the things that plant parents dread, huh? Now I know what it's like. I'm gonna try this piece. I feel about this you guys I have I still really have no idea what I'm doing but that piece definitely looks like it's rotting like should I just rip that piece off and then still save these all right I'm doing it I'm sorry if you're cringing as you're watching this because I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I'm really sorry but I'm doing what I can I'm doing what I can okay this is a pretty big piece here should I split it up or leave it as is? So we have this and this. Maybe I'll split this one in two. So I'm gonna cut on this one right here. And then I'm gonna cut this one right here. This one's got this little aerial root I mean honestly it's brown I should cut it off uh, I don't know if that one's gonna do much for us but I'm saying that about like every one of these cuttings huh? I have no faith that's rotting this is just Sad. Okay, I'm confused about what I should do here. We have this, oh no, that's kind of dead. I'm gonna do it over here. Oh, look at this little one, how sad. So sorry I had to do this to you. And this one's got three little leaves. I oh, this one's cute. Look at this little cutting right here. Okay, guys. I think that's all we're gonna be able to salvage here. That's the uh, mess of rotting stuff. And these are the cuttings that we're gonna try to propagate. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're just gonna pop these in some water. All right guys, so we did end up with quite a few cuttings, so I'm hopeful that some of this will work out for us. We have one. We have 12 cuttings here, so fingers crossed. And these do look pretty good, I think. So like I said, I'm just going to pop them in this container here with some water. Um, if you guys like this type of video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions, like I said, if you were cringing while you were watching this video and um, want to help a girl out, I am so open to suggestions. I'm going to try to post this video as soon as possible. That way, if you guys do have some suggestions for me, I can see them quickly before, you know, I go too far in ruining these cuttings. So please, please, please let me know. I, I'm open to constructive criticism. I don't mind it at all. And also if there's any other types of videos that you guys want to see from me, let me know that as well. 
I'm really, really enjoying making this planty content and enjoying connecting with different people that love plants because it really has been just a very welcoming and kind and awesome community to be a part of so far. All right, you guys. I don't know if uh, all of these have room in here. I might have to kind of split them up because there are a whole bunch of them in here now. So maybe I'll split these up off camera. If you think that would be better, also let me know. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this content, then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys soon.